I don't know. I've used this program every week and every week. I, I can't seem to get the settings right with it. So if you guys do join me live, please let me know if you can hear me and if you can see me because I tried to go live just now and it was very glitchy and very, uh, it wasn't working. So I'm going to try and bring it up on my phone just to test and see if it is indeed working. Welcome to this kind of impromptu Monday live. What I want to do is to switch from doing weekly lives on a Friday to maybe Wednesday because I realize that with my schedule on a Friday, it's kind of hard to stick to a Friday post. And so I'm going to just stick to doing it on Wednesdays because, you know, I'm able to sit at my computer on Wednesday and actually do these trainings every week because I love coming live and actually talking, you know, Pinterest and blogging and all of that stuff. So I'm really hoping to be able to stick to that schedule. Fridays are just too crazy and all over the place. You know, you're preparing for the weekend. Usually I'm trying to get my munchkin off somewhere um, for the weekend. And so it's hard to come back on a Friday evening and do the lives. So we're going to move our weekly lives to Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Central. Please join me if you can. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? Please let me know if you can hear me and see me well. That would, I'd appreciate that a lot. So what I want to do is to share this, first of all, in the group so that if anyone is in the group right now, they will be able to jump on and, and um, see what we're talking about. Because today I really wanted to reveal the brand new blog that I just started. I started it at the end of May. So it's been a full 30 days since I started it and since I started to market it. And so I wanted to share with you what the results of my um, new Pinterest strategy has been because it's slightly different than what it used to be. And uh, um, I've updated my Pinterest book to reflect that. I've also... Um, so because I've updated the Pinterest book to reflect that, I also have a sale on the Pinterest book. So if you've really been wanting to join or to grab the Pinterest book, you can definitely do that. Um, the sale ends on Saturday, so you can grab it for 25 bucks and get my new Pinterest strategy. I'm always updating the book. So as soon as something happens, especially Pinterest, you know, they change their mind every minute then I'm always updating the book. And once you have the book, you will always be able to get the updates because, you know, as you may know, or as you should know, Board Booster died a slow and hard, well, it was actually a very quick, a very quick death. So there's no more Board Booster. And that was actually my favorite scheduling tool. So rip to Board Booster. Um, but Never fear because Tailwind um, is pushing a new smart loop strategy. And so hopefully that will come on stream for everyone soon. And as soon as that does come on stream, I will update the, um, the book so that you can see what the looping is like over on Tailwind because that was definitely my go-to strategy in Board Booster to loop my pins over and over and over. So without further ado, let's get to this brand new blog. So <clears throat> the brand new blog is called The Beautical, thebeautical.com. I'm going to switch you over to it right now so you can see it. Let me share my screen here, which is why I like to use this little fancy thing so that you can see what's going on. So this is The Beautical, and I named it so because it was actually supposed to be a beauty blog. But with all things blogging and, you know, the skyscraper technique that I love to do, I find blog topics that work really well, that are trending, and I try to write about them to get the most bang for my buck as soon as possible. Now, this blog is actually very much a lifestyle blog. How it differs from my main lifestyle blog is... My main lifestyle blog is branded me, 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 me. So when I'm talking about a topic on my main lifestyle blog, it feels not authentic to me if I'm talking about something without having personal experience in it. For instance, 
when you scroll down on this blog, even though it's supposed to be a beauty blog, it actually took off. I wrote one post initially in the weight loss um, segment. It was actually on the keto diet. And you know, the keto diet is really, really trending right now. So I wrote a post on the keto diet and it took off so much that I wrote like maybe 10 more on the keto diet. And that was the pin that actually went viral. And so um, I'll, show, I'll share with you my Google Analytics actually. So you can see what my first month looks like. Let me bring that right up. But yeah, the, the beautiful is actually riding high on the weight loss keto diet niche right now. I had a pin that was bringing me over 2,000 users each day for maybe three or four days. So that was super interesting to see what that was like. And the beautiful is actually doing better than I redeem on my main lifestyle blog right now. So I told you guys that I've been having some trouble getting Irediva back off the ground because I think because it was dormant for so long and it had viruses on it unbeknownst to me, it was just super difficult to actually, it has been super difficult to actually get the traffic back up. So I decided I wasn't going to wait around on it. I was just going to start a new blog. And so that's what I did with the beautiful but it was supposed to be a lifestyle blog that is not branded me. So what that means is that instead of, like for the keto diet, for instance, I have no personal experience with the keto diet. So it would feel very inauthentic for me to write about the keto diet on iridiva.com because I like to write about things on there from my perspective. The Beautiful is a website where if you're a good writer, you're able to actually research find out about a topic. It's just like you're writing a paper, an essay in school, right? You sit and you find all the information that you can about a topic, and then you write it from your own take. And that's what I did with all the articles on the beautiful, and the keto diet one was the one that took off. You can see this huge um, traffic bump here. So um, this is June 1 to June 30 for the beautiful, and you can see that on June 1, I had a grand total of seven sessions. And then I published the keto post and it took off. Here I have 53, it went up to 131, to a high of 2,774 sessions on one day. And then I had a slightly, a smaller bump here um, later on in the month that brought in some good traffic as well. And it leveled out to a daily, I'm getting an average of about 200 sessions per day with this blog and that is actually on par right now with where iRediva is at because I have been doing work and I brought it up a little bit but to have a, br a brand new blog that is doing much better than my eight-year-old blog is just you know mind-blowing to me it's a I don't know if I should leave iRediva alone or what's going on with it because it was a little bit you know heart-wrenching to me for me, I, it's like it, it's a blow on your self-confidence because I know I know what I'm doing, but Irediva just would not pick up. And so when I started this new blog and I put all of my best strategies behind it, this was the outcome. And what does that look like? I had almost 13,000 page views in my very first month of blogging with this blog. So for me, for a brand new blog, that is phenomenal. Because if I continue to work on this blog, it means that I can pass 25,000 sessions in the month of July and get it into a brand, uh, into an uh, ad network that pays much better than AdSense. Now, speaking of AdSense, let's see what the income was like for last month. So as you can see, my page RPM is $5.86. What does that mean? For every 1,000 views on the blog, they pay me $5.86. So I've been able to get that up significantly since I added ads to the beautiful because before that, they were paying me pennies on, you know, for my page RPM. So last month, I was actually able, I had about $80 in here 
um, when May ended. And so I added $108 to that $88 in one month. And if you know anything about AdSense, you will know that that is phenomenal because it is really hard to, to um, hit the monthly payment threshold in AdSense every single month. Usually, you'll have to wait a couple months to get a $100 payout from AdSense. So I'm very, very pleased with this new blog, with what's going on there, and with the results of um, this, this, um, this <laughs> keto blog. So now I'm actually wondering what to do with the name because it's almost like right now it's really just a, a weight loss kind of a blog that's called The Beautiful. So that's why I have the tagline here, Beauty From Within. And um, maybe, I don't know if I should try to add some beauty articles to it now or should I keep it a weight loss? That is up in the air. But this blog has about 40 posts on it. I worked really hard to get out all the... Um, the content that I could within the 30-day period because you know a lot of if you want to get traffic you have to absolutely have content you got to push content out consistently now let's talk about my Pinterest strategy for this new blog as you can see again this is a brand new Pinterest account that I started for the beautiful and you can see that I have 213,000 monthly viewers, 15,000 of them are engaged with the profile. What that means is that all of that traffic that you just saw in the analytics, everything here came from Pinterest. And that is why I believe that Pinterest is where you need to focus your efforts when you are starting a brand new blog. Because SEO will always be the backbone um, of my overall blogging strategy. You want to get that Google traffic. You want to get your posts ranking high in Google. But that is a labor of love. That takes time for you to gain that kind of momentum, that kind of traffic. So yes, a lot of the posts on the beautiful are keyworded and SEO'd and all of that but it's still gonna take me some time to actually rank for anything for a brand new blog. So I can't sit around and wait on Google though, I need traffic now. And so Pinterest brings me that traffic using my new Pinterest strategy. So here is the Beautiful's um, Pinterest profile, which I'm so very proud of it because the again, the iRediva um, Pinterest profile I think the monthly viewers is at 680 something thousand. So for the beautiful, which is a brand new account to be one third of that already is phenomenal to me. So, and the strategy that I have used on the beautiful is completely different from the strategy that I use on iRediva because the strategy I use here is very, very manual and very, very, right now, Pinterest is giving more more um more value to new content if you can feed pinterest new content every single day then pinterest will send you traffic and that is what i i have been doing because as i said the beautiful has now 40 blog posts so i've been able to pin something new to the pinterest um, profile for the beautiful every single day and i have added some group boards to the profile yes so I'm now on 61 boards. How many of those are group boards? Maybe about 20 of them, I would say. But I have really and truly been concentrating on simply adding um, my pins to my own boards because Pinterest has said that they are going to start devaluing the, the pins coming out of group boards because it's not being used how they wanted it to be used in the first place. So if you can see here on my um, Pinterest profile, I have a, a board called Food and Drink. I have another one called Healthy Ideas. I have another one called Recipes for Health. I have another one called Health and Wellness. All of those are similar boards. but So what that means is that I can add my one pin to four boards already that are my own, that my followers will see. 
So instead of me adding the same pin to the same board over and over and over, I'm adding it to different boards that are within the same niche but are keyworded slightly different. So what that does is that it helps me to keep the pin fresh and it helps Pinterest to know what this pin is about. Because today I'm going to pin it on food and drink. Tomorrow I'm going to pin it on healthy ideas. The day after that I'm going to pin it on recipes for health. And the day after that, I'm going to pin it on health and wellness. And maybe tomorrow, I will start a brand new board um, with something slightly different. I actually have a board that's all just keto alone. So that's a fifth board in the same category. Maybe I'll add a board dieting tips. So you get where I'm going. You want to have more and more of your own boards that you can add your pins to. And then Pinterest wants your fresh content. So that doesn't mean that after I've pinned that one pin to those five boards that are all within the same category, then I go and create a brand new pin for the same blog post. So I don't have to add a brand new blog post to my blog every day. I can just create a brand new pin every day. So if you are managing to create just one, just one new pin every day and add it to Pinterest, I guarantee you that your traffic will continue to grow from Pinterest. So I do have a way that I set this up in Tailwind. So instead, because I mean, when you get to 40 posts or 100 posts or, you know, whatever the case may be, you are going to forget, unless you are a spreadsheet master, you are going to forget what day it is for you to pin your pin onto something else. So I have set it up in Tailwind so that I can stagger my pins. As soon as I publish a new post, I create that first pin and I stagger it onto my five boards, day one, day two, day, two, day three, day 45. And then when I create a new pin, I stagger it again and I stagger it again and I keep staggering it. And I, I, I show you exactly how I do this um, in my Tailwind strategy that's in the Pinterest book. So again, if you want to grab the Pinterest book, you can do that for only $25 from now until... Saturday. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this um, helped you to figure out what works now on Pinterest because as usual Pinterest is always changing their mind. Something's always new over there and so you have to be on top of the game, on top of the ball to be able to gain the most momentum for your time because as bloggers our time is stretched very, very thin. We've got a lot of things to stay on top of. I could not do without pin, uh, without Tailwind for sure to help me to feed and trickle my Pinterest. Like for this instance, like for instance, this weekend, I have been busy just living life this weekend. I was not, I didn't open my computer all weekend long. I, I maybe opened the Pinterest app twice. How would I have managed if I did not have Tailwind there backing me up and sending out pins according to my strategy, day one, day two, day three, pin one, pin two, pin three. So I don't know how I would actually be able to survive without Tailwind. So if you want, you can use my Tailwind link that's in the description for this video. Grab yourself a free trial to Tailwind and see, follow along the strategy in the book and see exactly what I'm talking about. So that's all for now. Join me on Wednesday. As I said, I'm going to move the Facebook Lives to Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. where we'll talk blogging tips and more Pinterest strategy. And thank you, Anne. I'm happy that this helped. I'm going to jump off now, but, but as usual, I'm always around so you can leave your questions inside the Help a Blogger Out Facebook group. And that's all. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye, guys.